Hello good people of YouTube. Today we're going to take a look at Hunyan 3D compatible with Windows, Linux, and Mac. However, there is a caveat for Mac where it doesn't generate textures, only the mesh. Likely the developers will figure out how to do that. Now to run it you need to use Pinocchio, at least this method. I have a separate video on how to install it. It's super easy. Download it, unpack it, and follow the steps. Once you have it installed, head over to Discover and you'll see it right here. We're simply going to click on it and we're going to select Download. You'll see the various things that it's going to install. We're going to click Install. And like anything else, it's going to download some dependencies and then we're going to have to run the platforms so that it installs more dependencies and more models that it needs to use. So apparently with this platform, you can run it on low VRAM GPUs. I'm using my 8GB 3060 Ti, so let's see how it runs. Okay, at this point, I'm just going to delete the Git extension and save it as Hunyan 3D. We're going to click Download. We'll get this notification to install. Okay, now that everything is installed, I think <laughs> there are three 3D models. The two mini, which is the turbo, which is what we're going to try. That one's ideal for low VRAM. There's also one here, 2MV MultiView and the full version. But let's start with the mini model. And oh, there's original and turbo. So turbo is the one that will be ideal for low VRAM. And as you can see, there are different options based on your system specs. I really got to get more system RAM. So it looks like I can run this one, 32 gigabytes of system RAM, six gigabytes of VRAM. So let's click on this one. Now it's likely going to download more dependencies and probably that specific model. There we go. So it did have to download more things. And as you see here, 42 gigabytes. Wow. All right, let's pop this out into a browser. Now, full disclosure, this is my first time using this. So we're learning it together. So it looks like there's an image to 3D gallery here, which is great. Text to 3D gallery. I guess we can do text to 3D, which is great. And there's quite a few examples here that we can use. Let's try from a text prompt first. And we'll do something simple. A 3D model of a vase with roses, white background. And then we have options here. Turbo, which is what we're using. Fast and standard. We'll leave the default settings. Advanced options, remove background, random seed. Inference steps five. Yeah, let's just leave the default settings and see. Now I am recording in the background, so I'm going to see if I could still generate while I'm recording. So in the back end, it's looking like it's about 3.3 seconds per iteration, which is kind of average for even like image generation for my GPU. And I am recording. So likely if I turn off my screen recorder, it's possible I can get it under three seconds per iteration. We'll take a look at the specs for image to 3D after. But uh, yeah, for the most part, that's not bad. Yeah, it's exactly roses in a vase. Pretty cool. Let's try it textured. Oh, by the way, the previous generation took a minute and 23 seconds. Okay, there you go. Yeah, I really think my recording in the background is slowing it down, but it's not bad. I mean, it's not perfect. By the way, to move around, you just have to click on your mouse and move left to right, up and down, and you can use your scroll wheel to zoom in and out. Obviously, it's not perfect. This is the mini model, but to get some general shapes and say you wanted to export it, bring it into Blender or something, it's pretty decent. That looks pretty good. There's a couple buttons here. Geometry, I guess just to see the mesh and appearance to see it in full color. And if you want to export it, you can go to the tab here, export. And there are several file sizes depending on what you're using. So there's GLB, OBJ, PLY, STL. OBJ is very common, so is GLB, but you can export it that way. Let's try the image to 3D. So I already have a character here that I want to try out, which was generated in open art for one of my previous videos. 
Let's try untextured and textured, but this time I'm going to turn off my recording just because I want to see if it's any faster. So I'll cut through the part when we're done. So that was super fast, literally just a few seconds. I don't know what's going on here. Let me try that again with a different image. We'll just try this guy and see if it works. And I'm going to keep the recording on. It was literally just a few seconds. Yeah, see? I mean, this one didn't turn out too great. Let's try this one again. And I'll leave it recording live so that you can see for yourself how quick it is. See? And it actually turned out really good. Wow. That's really cool. I've been waiting for something like this to do 3D. I used to use uh, Cinema 4D back in my day. I tried 3D <laughs> modeling. I was okay at it. Um, let's try the textured shape. So yeah, when I took off the recording, it was uh, 157 seconds, so two-ish minutes, under three minutes, something like that. But not bad. Now it does look a little flat-headed at the back, but considering it's coming from a 2D image, this is not bad at all. Wow, that's pretty good. So this is Hun Wan 3D. I'm not going to sit here and pretend that I know everything about it since it's my first time using it. However, I encourage you to check it out. It's actually very, very simple to use. I'm going to play around with it more and maybe do something like within Blender. But this is very cool, so easy to use, great way to build assets and even texture stuff. So awesome. Now, in case you want to try Hunwan video, there's actually a Gradio app just like this one for that as well. And if you watch my previous video on WAN 2.1, there have been some updates. There's actually a 1.3 image to video model now available. So you can go ahead and install that. I'm going to do a video on that as well. Just currently running some tests. As always, let me know what you think in the comments below, my friends. Until that next video, I'll see you when I see you.